One of my favorite things in the whole world is atmosphere. From how I shoot my videos to the stories I tell in them, immersion is absolutely vital. But one thing I feel like Minecraft lacks in is detail, especially in survival. It's why I started looking for mods that improved upon it. These simple changes, though small, can add so much life to the worlds we play in. The last mods video, I showcased additions that improved upon the visual elements of the game, and this one is no different. However, this collection of mods focuses on enhancing the first person experience. So without further ado, here are 10 more mods that immerse you in the world of Minecraft. As a self-proclaimed Minecraft filmmaker, what I can see is beyond important. Dynamic crosshair will help free up the screen by hiding the crosshair when it's unimportant. This alone makes the game feel way less cluttered. But let's take it a step further. Similar to dynamic crosshair, auto HUD will hide your hotbar. When not in use, the hotbar will hide itself until you interact with it. These two mods in tandem make for a much cleaner playing experience, and coincidentally, were developed by the same person. So thank you, Krengrim, for your contributions to my happiness. The last most common GUI element is block borders. This one you might not even notice when playing, and it can be an incredibly helpful tool for a lot of people. No block overlay will get rid of the line that appears on blocks within reach, but I find I've been playing this game for so long, I can play without it. With every update, Mojang gives us more and more blocks to build with, but the inventory system has remained stagnant over the years. While these new additions allow for some incredibly detailed palettes, it is quite a pain the swapping between them all. Azuma Void proposed an idea to fix the solution with a hotkey to help remove that annoyance. An item swapper brought that idea to life. But maybe you still want to open your inventory. It's always bugged me that in doing that, the menu just kind of appears. But Flow changes that. This mod adds an animation that plays whenever you open or close a menu. And if you're not a fan of the sliding one, they've got a ton of other options. I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes I feel like the advancements are a little underwhelming. Advancement Black straight up just overhauls it. With an incredible looking banner and a new sound that appears after completing it, getting an achievement just feels so much cooler. Nailed it! Smooth swapping and tiny item animations are another two mods that work perfectly together. The first of them will make shift clicking items and chests infinitely more satisfying. They even equip you with a speed graph so you can create the perfect animation. But if you just want to pick up an item, tiny item animations will upgrade that. These two changes are incredibly subtle but look absolutely amazing. Although I don't have a mouth, I still like to enjoy my food. Eating animation will allow you to take smaller bites so you can really savor every pork chop. With animations for pretty much every food in the game, this mod gives a reason for the crumb particles. Mmm, mm. I think it tastes better too. Also, make sure to stick around to the end. Just like last time, I've got three bonus mods for you. Night Vision has a little feature that lets you know that the effect is ending, and this screen flashing can be a little hard on your eyes. Instead of the normal strobe light, you'll now be greeted with a calming and gentle fade into the darkness. Ah, uh, that's nice. Have you ever felt unbothered by damage? Ever wish the game was more intense? Want to get flash banged by explosions? Then Enhanced Visual might be right up your alley. This mod adds visual effects that react to your actions, making everything you do much more impactful. Standing near Enderman, going in water, and even walking on sand have unique particles that appear on your screen. A quick motion warning for this mod, though a bit disorienting, camera overhaul brings a really neat change to how your head moves. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Two hops this time. Two hops this time. Cha cha real smooth. On the second thought, maybe this addition is too distracting. Let's go to work. I can see one man dance parties Take taking up a lot of my time. Take it back now, y'all. But now it's time to go to sleep. After you finish mining for the day, the sun is setting, you hang up your pick, say goodbye to your pet, and log out. But then once you reach the main menu, you realize, no, I'm not done. I want to play more Minecraft. So you pour yourself another cup of coffee, click back into single player, load back up your world, and now you're greeted with the coolest loading screen ever. Seamless loading screen will take a screenshot right before you quit your game and then use that picture as your background when loading into a world. Most, if not every one of these mods is incredibly customizable. I would highly recommend checking them out for yourself. And as usual, they're all linked in the description. I've also got three more mods videos on the way for third person enhancements, missing features, and overhauled audio. But that about wraps it up. Thank you all for being so lovely. Mwah. Bye bye. I think I think I have a for a Make sure I stick around to the end. Mwah. Make sure I stick around to the end because I got three bonus mods for you today. Um, um,
Blech. That's so nasty.